Hello everybody, this is Tekka, and in this video what we're going to be talking about is customizing your GNOME desktop environment. Now, it's a uh, common criticism of the GNOME desktop environment for their lack of customization options. And in this video what I'm going to be doing is going over how to customize it, how to add extensions, themes, and do some overall tweaks. So I did run a few polls on my community page on my YouTube. And I figured out that most of you guys are using GNOME and a lot of you guys are using Pop OS. So I'll be making this GNOME customization video using Pop OS. This is 20.10 if you are curious. And let's get started. The very first thing you're going to want to do is open up your terminal and get GNOME tweaks. We're going to use this to tweak some things around, GNOME tweaks, as well as apply themes and extensions. And then go ahead and type in sudo install or sudo apt, my bad, sudo apt install gnome, I'm not good at typing by the way, tweaks, enter, hit yes, and we are rocking. Now that we have gnome tweaks installed, we are going to go ahead and check it out. Actually, before we do that, let's go into settings, and I'm going to show you what you get by default. If I go under appearance here, you can see the only options I have is to change the background as well as switch between the dark and light theme options. For me, that's not enough, and that's why we just installed GNOME Tweaks. Here, you could do a lot of different things, including change the appearance themes, uh, add extensions, uh, you can change top bars, uh, change window settings, change what the uh, window title bars do, all kinds of things. But um, I recommend you go through all of these different menus and completely change everything how you like it. But now what I'm going to get into is showing you how to actually theme it and add extensions. So the first thing and most important thing is the user themes extension. You can see that we do not have that at this moment, so let's go ahead and go get it. I'm going to open up my internet browser for this virtual machine. It is currently Firefox. So with that open, I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick search for GNOME. Uh, user themes and that should take me to the extensions.gnome.org go ahead and give that a click so you're just going to want to click here to install the browser extension continue to installation go ahead and add it and then you can see that it has been added there click ok i got it reload the page and then you can see right here there's an option to actually i'm covering it let's go like this put me down here for a little bit you can see right here there is a little uh, toggle switch for off because we don't have the user themes installed. So if I switch that toggle, I'll get this dialog box that comes up here and install the extension. So now with this installed, I could go ahead and close this out for now. This is our GNOME tweaks. We're going to need to restart the application so we can actually see the option. Um, so you're going to want to go under extensions make sure this is enabled. Then right here you have user themes load shell themes from user directory and you can see that this is checked. So now what we're going to want to do is make a themes directory. So to do this we're just going to go back into the terminal. So open up terminal and then here we are going to type mkdir for make directory. The little squiggly bit line which is also our home directory uh, dash dot themes and now we've made that theme directory. So now we could go ahead and close this out and you can actually see this directory if I open up files and then I go here into the settings, I believe. Oh, it's right here. Uh, show hidden files and then you could see the dot themes folder right here. Now a really, really good place to get themes is the uh, gnome dot look website. So we're gonna actually open up Firefox again and go ahead and go to gnome dot I mean slash look dot org and here they have a pretty solid collection of different themes that you could look at now just for the sake of this video I'm gonna go ahead and sort this by rating and then let's go ahead and go to let's say this one this one looks pretty cool so let's open this up and go ahead and download this you have a lot of options here so you can kind of go and a lot a lot of times in here in the uh, description they'll have additional tips on how to install it maybe some theme uh, or icon packs and other things you may need. So let's just go ahead and install the, let's go with the darker, no, let's go with the light. Let's mix it up a little bit. Download. 
and let's download the light so that first link right there click download and then uh, we're gonna open it with our archive manager and now with this open what we're gonna do we have our theme here so we're gonna hit extract and extract this to that dot themes folder we created earlier so let's go back and go to dot themes and then just click extract it says it's done it successfully if we hit show all files we'll see in our dot themes folder we have it right there go ahead and close all this out and now let's go back into gnome tweaks so we'll go like that and then if we go over to appearance we should have that new theme option in here under shell for example we see the uh, professional gnome light and so we can go ahead and change all these you can see some changes already starting to uh, make effect okay and on the description of this theme it said if we log in and out we will get a more full experience so let's go ahead and log out so now that I've completely logged in and out, we can go ahead and see the theme that was applied. So if I go into files, you can see here that the theme has been applied. This is kind of a uh, older Mac OS X look. I kind of like it. Um, so now extensions. These are, uh, we already added an extension. You saw how we did that. And now that we have that enabled on our uh, web browser, it's really, really easy to install from here on out. So if you go under extensions, you can sort this by popularity. You have all kinds of things going on. Uh, open weather, clipboard indicator, uh, just a bunch of different things you can add. I recommend you go through sensors. This is one that I would use quite frequently. It uh, shows your CPU temperature, hard drive temperatures, and a bunch of other stuff. We have more things like the Bing wallpaper changer if you're into something like that. Just a magnitude of different options that you can do. So that was just the tip of the iceberg and some of the things that you could do in customizing GNOME. I do recommend you go down below if you're interested in more such as changing icons, adding a dock, things like that. Uh, there'll be a written tutorial up so you could go ahead and follow the steps there. But this will give you a great start and do theming GNOME, customizing it. I recommend you go through all those extensions, not all of them, but a lot of those extensions on that website and add and change things as you see fit. Play around with GNOME tweaks, add a dock, move around the menu bars, make it truly your system exactly how you like it. And that wraps up this video. Uh, I've recently added all my content to a library. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and check it out. I will occasionally be uploading exclusive content there. Um, that's about it. Like this video if you did. If you hated it, dislike it. Leave a comment with maybe tell me what your favorite gnome theme is so I could go ahead and check it out. I hope you have a beautiful day and goodbye.